Hello, welcome back once again to howtocookredfood.com. On the menu today, we're going to be making this lovely dish here. Minced or ground beef with potatoes or aloo keema. Got some lovely Indian beautiful spices in there. It is delicious. Let's get moving. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here then. So potatoes, I've got my potatoes, I've peeled them and I've cut them quite small, cut them larger if you want. I've got some ground beef there or minced beef, a couple of decent sized tomatoes, try and use a nice ripe tomato, one decent sized onion, cilantro or coriander, fresh curry leaves. If you can get these, they're absolutely wonderful. If not, try and get dried. I think you can buy them dried in some places. A couple of teaspoons of cumin seeds, nice tablespoon there of garlic ginger paste, chopped green chili and then what I always call the big four so we've got two teaspoons each of chili powder cumin coriander and turmeric if you want you can just use a curry powder that you have I think this is a little bit better let's get moving okay so I've got some oil in there I'm using a sunflower oil you might want to use less than me I'm often accused of using a lot of oil for this one especially I like lots of oil in there what we're going to do is drop in those Cumin seeds, just for a few seconds, let them do their thing, followed by the fresh curry leaves. Then our onion. We're on an above medium heat. I'll be back in about three minutes. Keep it moving. Fabulous stuff. At this point, we're now going to drop in our minced or ground beef. I'm going to break that in. And again, I'm going to be back, staying on this heat again. I'll be back in about another three or four minutes. Again, keep it moving, working it in. Beautiful. Next step, we're going to drop in our potatoes. Going to add some salt. Going to get in our garlic ginger paste. Garlic ginger paste, a 50-50 mix of garlic and ginger in a nice smooth format. You can buy that in most stores, depending on where you live, or you can make it. We make our own one here because we use so much of it. Okay, stay again on this heat. Let's go again for another three or four minutes. Again, keeping it moving. Great stuff. We're now going to add in our powders. Let's just take one more look. So I've got equal parts of chili, turmeric, cumin, and coriander. In that goes. Like I say, if you want, you could use a curry powder you already have. I do find the individual spices to be a bit better I said that fresh chili and our tomatoes like I say try and use a nice ripe tomato all the time I'm gonna add just a little splash of water I'm gonna turn the heat up to maximum now I'm going to go for about five or six minutes. What we're looking for here is those tomatoes to break down. And if we've used a nice ripe one, we should get enough moisture from them. If not, we'll add some more water. Give it a stir every now and then. Beautiful, look at that. Tomatoes have broken down. Nice amount of moisture on there. Just wanna let that go now for a few minutes. Just want those potatoes to soften just a little bit more. It's gonna be about another three or four minutes. Keep it on the low heat. Then we're done. Okay, off goes the heat. Just gonna add a little bit of garam masala powder in there, nice finishing powder and a nice little sprinkle of fresh cilantro or coriander. 
I'm gonna give that a mix, that's a beauty. Check that for salt, you might wanna add a bit more, I'm good. I'll see you at the table. Okay, and there you go, beautiful. I just added a little bit more cilantro or coriander on the top. Now that's nice with rice, but I actually prefer to eat that with some bread like a parata or a naan or a roti or something. Anyway, hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, please. Do give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Thank you very much for taking time to watch our cooking videos. Hope you enjoy them. Lots going on. We've got a, a new vegan channel, which we're trying to promote at the moment. It's just 100% vegan, so please check that out. Chef June has started his own Filipino cooking channel. He's still going to be appearing here with me on how to cook great, but he started his own one. And we've got Rahel, who's doing great stuff on her Amharic or Ethiopian cooking channel. So if you're into either of those things or those three things, please check them out. The links might pop up here or they'll be down below. If you'd like to support the channel, which I really do hope you do, you can by buying us a cup of coffee. It's going to cost you a couple of dollars. Just follow the link, PayPal or whatever it is. Um, really, really would help us if you do that. I think that's about it. We're doing fine. We hope you're well. Subscribe to us. That helps us out a lot. Give us a thumbs up. We do like that. And more importantly, please do leave us a comment. We do like to hear from you and see what you're up to. That's it. Be safe. Be well. We'll see you soon. Lots of love.